Hello, my name's Bev, and three years ago I took up playing the recorder again after a 50 year gap. Hello, everyone. Um, exciting day today. Um, I've discovered a new piece of music which I want to play. Not I'll play bits of it today. You'll see why in a minute. Um, it's a Bach piece. It's from a flute sonata which has been transposed for the treble recorder. But the other reason that I'm really excited today is that I've had a delivery in the post. And Tim Cranmore, the recorder maker who I bought a Boxwood Stainsby from um, last month, has sent me two more recorders to for me to try out to see which one I like. Um, and if I don't like either of them, I'll send them back. Um, but so exciting because we have two Blackwood alto recorders in uh, 440 hertz that's the modern pitch he, he also does them in 415 but i always go for 440 um or 442 never really know the difference 440 442 anyway this is the modern these are the modern pitch and as you can see they look pretty much identical and they are beautiful being handmade and they're made from blackwood which I guess is grenadilla um very hard hardwood um so I imagine it's not that easy to um craft I don't know but anyway I've got these two and I need to really test them out to see if I like them I had a little play around with them earlier and I already have a favorite um, difficult to tell which is which. I don't want to end up with the wrong one. They are, there's not a lot to tell between the two of them. And they both play really nicely and they play a across all the registers very easily. And that's what I'm after. Something that just plays itself, if you like. Um, so yeah, these two, I need to test them out and I'll just give you a little tootle on them both so you can hear what they sound like obviously on um, the video it never sounds um, perfect right so I'll play on both and then I'll let you know whether it's recorder A or recorder B that I'm going to go for Um, I've also they also need warming up of course because they've come in the post and they were quite cold. Um, I'll play a little bit of the piece that I mentioned, the new one, which is it's an andante. It's it's very very slow. So here it goes. Um, this piece is kind of looks like half the beat that you'd expect it to be. So I'm still getting used to this. Today is literally the first time I have played this piece. But I really like it. If you, you can hear it on YouTube, I'll put a link in the video below to, so you can hear it played properly with um, a harpsichord and a viol da gamba. So that is recorder A. Now for recorder B. 
and my breathing on this piece is all wrong, as you probably gather, because there's quite a, there's a lot of long notes that require controlled breathing. doing the wrong beats there but anyway you get an idea and I can't decide I, initially I decided on recorder B but now I'm not I'm now I'm thinking maybe it's recorder A or maybe there's just nothing to tell between them it's just amazing the way that Tim Cranmore can make hand make recorders that are just sound perfect I mean they're not cheap but I mean these are my ultimate recorders and I'm actually selling some of the ones I don't use much, one of which is the olive wood. I just don't play it. It's the Moet olive wood. It's a lovely recorder. It looks gorgeous. But I'm moving on from where I was three years ago when I first took up the recorder again after a 50-year gap. And um, the olive wood will need to be sold, really. Can't hang on to them all for financial reasons and because I just don't play them so they might as well go to people who do play them who will love them I sold the palisander um a few months ago and um which was a lovely recorder but um again I'm moving on um and I'm preferring the hardwoods and the olive wood is a soft ish wood though some people say it's a hardwood but it's very light very bright Anyway, if you're interested in the olive wood, just send me a message and let me know, um, and I'll get in touch. Meanwhile, which, which, which shall I go for? I think I'll have to have another play and, um, and see. And if I can't decide between the two, it'll be just a case of pick the one, well, pick one of them. <laughs> we don't know which one. Um, so... Yeah, thank you for listening, and I'll let you know at some point which one I choose. Oh, and in case you're wondering, in case you saw my video about the Bernalan resin recorder, which arrived the other week, um, it's not it's not a very pro popular decision, but I've decided to send it back. The reason being, it was it's a nice recorder, but the reason being that um, some of the top registers very, are very difficult to get, and especially notes that you should be able to get normally, like, for example, a C sharp. That. It just didn't get it. And the top G, the really top G, it could be any of three notes that came out when you played it which isn't very reliable and also there was an awful lot of condensation which was pouring out of the thumb hole and the finger holes i know that happens on other recorders um but there was an awful lot pouring out and i just thought i'm not going to play this i'm just not going to play this instrument so i'm really really sorry burn the lamb but i'm going to have to return it and it's currently winging its way back to the Bernalan workshop um, and I shall get a refund which will go towards paying for one of these uh, because ultimately you want to get a recorder you're going to play unless you know if you 
uh, okay if you're spending a couple of quid on a second time recorder off eBay, like um, a plastic recorder or something, it doesn't really matter. Um, but it does when you're spending quite a lot, and the burner line cost me quite a lot of money um, when you add on uh, UK that and the customs fees, which you can find about out about in in another video where I unboxed it. So it looks like um, 2024 is going to be the year of playing the handmade Tim Cranmore recorders and um, hopefully the year when I can up my game from where it is at the moment. Um, and the good thing about these videos I'm making is they're not perfect as you can tell, far from perfect, but in a way that that's good because it, I can look at the videos then and I can um, work out what I need to improve on and go back to my recorder teacher who I see every Thursday evening and work with her on the things that I need to improve. So anyway, again, thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you later.